Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix welcoming you to episode 2 of Kirby's Epic Yarn. Kirby's doing a little jump rope there, how cute. And so, last time we got past all the boring introductory stuff of this game, so let's finally get into the very first level, well, technical first level, because the, we've already played through one level, which is more of a tutorial. This one is what I would actually consider the first level. So, the let's play starts now, for real. Let's do this. Yeah. And as you would probably expect, this first level really isn't that hard. They get a lot harder later on. Well, not a lot harder, because really, Kirby games, how hard can they get? Alright. Wait, have I already played this level? Did I, did I already do this level? Oh, hold on. No, I didn't. I don't think so. No. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I just like... I don't know, I have a very strange memory right now. So I think I might have played through this level in like the first episode or something, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Because that would be stupid of me. Oh, damn it, I shouldn't have pulled that. Because there's more beads down there if you don't pull that right away. Whatever. Mm. Yeah. Most of the music in this game is actually really calming. It, like. Hardly any of it actually gets really intense or anything. Like some of the boss themes, yeah, they get intense. And yes, there's bosses in this game. Would you expect otherwise? Oh, just because it's Kirby doesn't mean it has to be. Doesn't mean I have to wimp out with the bosses. All right. Yeah, there's really not much to talk about here. I'm just kind of doing the self-explanatorily. Is that even a word? Probably not. I don't know what those patches do either. Like that one I just picked up, I have no idea what that's for. Still, like even though I've gotten pretty much to the last world of this game, I still have no idea what those do. If anyone actually does know, then feel free to tell me. Or, oh, let's shake the tree. Awesome. I love this part. This is like, I don't know why this part is so fun. It just is. Just like shaking this all out of the tree. Uh, and you never get to do that again in the game, I don't think. It's like a one-time deal kind of sucks, but... Oh well. There's a lot of other stuff to look forward to in this game. Right. Gather some beads and stuff. Beads and stuff. And we get a silver medal. Cool. Yeah. And the medals actually get really hard to get later on too, because later on you fall into lots of pits and stuff, and that causes you to lose, lose lots of beads. Which means that it's harder to get enough beads to get gold and stuff. There's a fountain. You can put that in our house if you want. Does any, do any of you have fountains in your house? And Oh my god, we're going behind. <laughs> but how many games can you say that you've gone behind the scenery? Behind the background? Like, I know, like, the most prevalent example I can think of right now is, like, Paper Mario. When you go into the background sometimes. But you never, like, go behind the background except, like, in this game. It's the only game I've experienced it in, anyways. I don't know, there's probably some other game, but... I don't know. It's a rare breed, I'm sure. Right on these cotton clouds are just awesome. And here's the music. The Fountain Garden's music. Not the greatest music in the game, but still cool to have. Alright. Now let's open the door by tearing it off. Yeah. Okay, I can't go that way, because it's blocked. And there we have gold. But even once you get gold, you can still lose it if you lose beads, so never forget that. Doesn't mean you can start slacking off once you get to gold. Nope. You gotta work for it. You've gotta earn it. You've gotta own it. Okay. I love the look of those, like, star-shaped beads. The really colorful ones that are worth a lot. They're not colorful, but they're shiny and beautiful. They remind me of crystal stars. Oh, That's so cute. Look at that. That's just the most adorable thing ever. Uh, I'll just leave them alone, I suppose. Hmm, what does this do? Let's find out. Oh, damn. Oh my god, we're a tank. We are literally a tank. Alright. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm sure I don't need to explain the controls to you. Basically, all you need to know is that one is fire, and you can aim it by tilting the Wiimote. 
And if you're playing this game, I'm sure you already know that anyways. Uh, and it gives you the option to look at the controls right away, so... Whatever. Alright, stay away from those things. Those actually have, like, a bigger blast radius than you'd expect. Those weird... Missiles. Why are these enemies trying to kill Kirby with their missiles? It's not fun. Okay. Yep. Uh, and this power-up, they, like, tease you with this right here, because you don't get to see this again until much, much later in the game. I think I've only seen it in one level past this one. That's how scarce it is. And it's, like, the most awesome power-up ever, but I guess it's just too powerful. You know, with great power comes great responsibility. Crap. Crap. Yeah, see, that did not hit me. That's what I'm talking about with the weird blast radius thing. Has a very strange area of effect. Alright, oh my god. See, this is what I'm talking about. You gotta be careful with those beads. Alright, gotta whittle this thing down. Not tedious at all. Get away! Hey, hey. Okay. Rapid fire, go! <laughs> That's awesome. And once you hit one of these spools, then you just unwind, and there you go. Back to the calming music. And level over. Hurrah. Yeah, for some reason I feel like I did that one in the first video. Maybe I did, and I'm just being stupid. If I did, then I'll just cut this out. And I love how the victory dance is just different every time, too. So cool. Alright. Got quite a few beads in that level. Got, like... Well, once we add all this up, it's going to be, like, over 2,500 beads in that one level. And we get the butterfly patch. Awesome sauce. Alright. So let's just... Yep. So, to place a patch, just throw it with one, and see what adventures it will unlock for us. Each one of these, like, patches does something different, but each is awesome in its own right. If you look at that, that's just so cute. Two little butterflies, just happily dancing next to the flowers there. Alright. And, uh, yeah, we still have time for this level. These levels can take quite a while, so I don't know, I might only get one or two levels per video. Oh, speaking of, like, videos and length and stuff, uh, I've, I've been thinking lately that 15 minutes per video, or 15 to 20 minutes per video, is a little bit excessive for every day, so I might start making my videos around 12, 13 minutes long instead. Um, for this one, I'm still going to keep it around 15 minutes, probably. Oh, and this wheel's cool, by the way. Like how the flowers just bloom as you walk all over it. But yeah, so... Um, because I know 15 minutes every day can be a little bit much for you guys to watch. So, just give me your opinions in the comments and let me know. I might keep doing 15 minute videos for this LP at least, because videos are going to be a bit more scarce in this LP. Uh, but, we'll see. At least until I'm done with Mario RPG. I might, because this one is going to replace Mario RPG once that's done. Because I'm going to finish that before Majora's Mask. Most definitely. Alright. Uh, this is boring. Why do you guys want to watch this? You don't. That's the answer. Okay. I'll just skip over that one. Yeah. If You, you can stick around in all these wheels if you really want to. If you want to get all these beads. I'll get that big one, I guess. Oh no! Oh damn it. Okay, I'm going to kill this guy in rage. And I have to work my way back up there. Again, no big deal. I don't even know if you can, like, run over things in this game with your car. I don't think I've ever tried it, because I'm too scared. Alright. Is this music the same? This music is the same as the title screen, isn't it? Oh, wow. Second level, and they're already cheaping out on the music. Great. Right, even though I don't know what this does, I want it. Because it's collectible. So you want to have it. Right. Uh, these things are awesome. They're just like little flies. I don't know. I always like the look of them. Right, ooh, this is fun. Wee. Nice little flower of beads there. I love the patterns that they make with the beads in this game. It's so cool. And we'll 
head up here, I guess. Don't see why not. And pull it down the frog's tongue. That's cool. And get our next treasure, which is a frog umbrella stand. Really? Really? Okay. Whatever. It's, it's creative, I guess. This whole game is freaking creative. Right. I didn't. I hit the fish there, but I didn't. I didn't like take damage. Okay. That's cool. I didn't know that those, those fish didn't actually like do. They get make you lose your beads. Learn something new every day, they say. Oh, that guy's just protecting himself from the rain. I'll just leave him. He's not bothering anyone. But the ones that are walking around not doing anything, they're the ones that are bothering. Ooh, an exclamation point. What could this mean? Well, let's follow it and find out. Let's get rid of this guy. He's just gonna get in the way. And, he's gonna attach that fountain. So let's pull it. And we access the music. Yeah. So, some, so, yeah, those things aren't always in chests, as you can see there. Sometimes they're a little bit more creative and hard to find like that. So you gotta be on the lookout for more than chests. Uh, okay. Ooh, nice combo there. Just jump from one to the other. And, again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And make it all the way up here. Cool. I don't know why I keep just, like, picking them up and throwing them like that. There's easier ways to kill them. Whoa! And... UFO mode. Alright, so you can press 1 to... It doesn't do anything right now. But when you suck stuff up... Like, I'll show you. And you can suck up beads with this, like, tractor beam that you use when you press 2. Alright, yeah. So if you suck, like, like, three things, I think it is, then you get electrocuted like that and... Boom! Just annihilated. Alright, and that's the only way you can get rid of those, uh... These, like, solid yellow blocks. With the... Thing. I think. Can you suck them up? Let's check. No, you cannot. Okay. Whatever. So I guess I'll go back up and open up this path, because it looks very secretive. So I probably want whatever's inside. I think that makes sense. Oh, it's just a stupid little patch. Whatever. I just like to keep this tractor beam on all the time, pretty much. Like, there's no reason to have it off, really, unless your thumb is tired. But really, why would your thumb get tired? I mean, mine are, like, worn in from so many years of just playing games. It's ridiculous. Alright. I'm glad you can't pull up the Gordos down there. That would suck. Just, like, going for the beads, and then all of a sudden... Oh my god, the Gordo! Alright. Yes, they're called Gordos. I don't know why. Alright. Oh god, avoid. Avoid. Avoid! Can I go in there? No, I can't. Okay. And... Are we almost at the end of this? I think we are. Yeah, it looks like it, because here's a spool. We go back to normal. And... We're done. So there's that level. And I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. And we're only at like 14-ish minutes here. I guess we can. I can show you what the patch does from this level at least. Leave you with a little cliffhanger for the next level. See what it's called and everything. It's gonna be cool. I'm sure. 4,008 beads. Look how many beads we already have. 8,040. Wait, 8,340 now. That's incredible. But they make you spend like 50,000 beads at a time in this game sometimes. Right, and we got the alarm clock patch, I think that was. Well, hell, oh. Here's Dom Wool. Oh dear, what a pickle, what a pickle, what a definite pickle I am in. Do you think he's in a pickle? Prince Fluff, Lord Kirby, you're still here. Oh, thank goodness I ran into you. Where, where else will we be? Alright. I guess we have to help him. Your general rush shall not go unnoticed. Alright, well, I guess this is the way we're spending the rest of the episode. No patch for us. Alright. You see, I can't seem to find the tenants who will move into my new building here. This is the... It's the market. What does one to do? I think spiffing up the place is a bit would definitely attract some new tenants. Maybe you should lower your rent prices, dude. Okay, so basically this is another little mini game type thing. If you just like fill up the room, each of these rooms with the required furniture, um, then you can pretty much let's see. 
Uh, change layout. Oh yeah, we have to point it at the television now. Okay. I guess this is the part that you're supposed to have the wrist strap on for. Alright, and you can place stuff, and if you place the right stuff, like this one wants that, and then we have this too. And it won't always be this simple, you'll often have to come back here after having gone through a lot more levels to unlock these things. And then a new tenant will move in. This guy is, uh, I forget his name, I don't know. Or her name, whichever it is. Play with friends. So yeah. Here is Zeke's hide and seek. Yeah. So whenever you fill up a room, a new tenant will move in and they unlock a special little mini game that you can do for more furniture or wallpaper or something, I think. So we'll probably take on this first mission here and then move on with the next level in the next episode of Kirby's Epic Yarn. So thank you all oh so much for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.